Yo, it is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're gonna be building the best team possible for less than 100,000 MT here in NBA 2K23, my team. And I think we've again built an amazing budget squad with a lot of depth and a lot of skill that you could use as an incredible starter team if you're just now getting back into my team or getting into the mode for the first time this year. This is the type of team that you can build for super cheap that will really help you be able to start your journey on this game really effectively and compete at a high level online. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel we hit 11k a few days ago really do appreciate all the recent support on the channel but without further ado let's hop right into it starting point guard going to be pink diamond isaac bonga nice cheap really good all-around point guard he's got a very good release he's 6a with 611 wingspan hot spots from four out of five spots outside the three he's got bully limitless takeoff post riser catch and shoot clamp very quick for step unpluckable challenger clamps glove etc 93 speed and excel good shooter very good dunker super good all-around defender as well has good size a very nice release it's very similar, honestly, to Set Shot 25 from 2K22, which is that Bob Nedelicki release, if you all remember, um, which is a really good release. It's not quite that good, but it's still very, very fast and very good for a big, or for a point guard, I should say. Um, normal leaner, MJ dribble style, D-book size of wall escape, a little bit behind the back, and quick drops. That gives him great animations all the way around. He's a really, really good card for only 10,000 MT. I do think he is the best point guard in the game at that price point and an awesome budget PG for the squad. At the two, we're going with Shane Battier. I love this card. It's an elite 3 and D guy who can also create his own shot at a pretty high level has a really nice release 6 8 with 6 10 wingspan hot spots of everywhere 17 also include a ton of elite defensive badges clamp very quick first step posterizer agent three catch and shoot corner specialist and half limitless range 95 speed and excel 94 shot 3 95 driving duck incredible defensive stats the stats and badges are amazing on this card saving lee luke canard on very quick good release normal leaner mj dribble style dg size of steph escape a little bit behind the back and front clutch dunk animations just another guy with elite all-around animations two ago with the stats and badges Definitely the best budget shooting guard in the game, in my opinion. A huge fan of Shane Battier for only 14,000 MT. At the three, similar type of card. It's going to be Hero Xavier McDaniels, uh, who is listed as a pink diamond, but he's basically a Galaxy Opal, especially with 18 Hall of Fame badges. Being a hero card... He's six nine with a seven foot wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. Half bully, fast twitch, limitless takeoff, posterizer, agent three blinders, catch and shoot, dead eye, limitless range, clamp area, quick first step, anchor, clamps, interceptor, and more. 92 speed and excel, 94 shot three, 94 driving dug, and again, 92 plus on basically every single defensive stat, at least every one that matters. Uh, has a really good release, this Roby base with like CJ McCollum, up around very quick, and the normal leaner. Again, great sigs, tray escape, Steph size of MJ dribble style. Don't love the hard behind the back, that's okay, and he has quick drops off one as well as front clutch dunk animations so another guy with really good half court animations great dunks a nice release and great all-around stats and badges one of the best pink diamond cards in the game he and bonga both are probably the best pink diamonds at their positions and are both incredible options for all very very cheap x-man being only about 15,000 mt thorough bailey the heroic one not the hero version is going to be our starting power forward at six foot 11 with a seven foot swing span he gives you decent size hot spots from both corners 17 hops are bully fast switch limitless takeoff and post trousers well as catch and shoot corner specialist clamp very quick first step Bunch of great defensive badges. 90 interior, 90 perimeter, 93 lateral, 90 steel, 90 block, 95 speed, and excel. Solid shooter, really, really good slasher. Has a very nice release. This Tobias Harris with set Jetty Osmond upper on very quick. Honestly, reminds me a lot of KPJ base, which is a huge compliment to give to a release. But if you use Thorough Bailey, you know it's a really nice release. Donovan Mitchell Leaner is interesting, but I do think it's honestly very, very good as well. And then MJ Dribble Style, Steph Size up Wall Escape, a little behind the back, quick drops off one. Got all the animations that are pretty standard at this point that make him a really Really, really nice card you can create his own shot at a pretty high level as well i do think his better position generally would be the small forward position but in a lineup like this we're going to throw him at that power forward position and he's going to get the job done for us at a very high level as a great budget power forward for only 15k as well and then at the center position we're going with tyson chandler who is only 13,000 mt and is a seven foot one center who is an elite athlete a really really great rim protector with 98 interior and 98 block incredible defensive badges clamp breaker quick first step and really good finishing badges 92 speed and excel which which makes him very fast for big. The only kind of flaw with the card is the fact that his release is kind of, actually, I don't mind his release, but uh, the three ball rating is kind of low. 78 shot three. He can get every shooting badge, so you can add catch and shoot, claymore, limitless range, etc. if you'd like to, which will definitely help him out because he's pretty complete everywhere else. Um, this Marcus Morris base, George Chill Upper on very quick. I don't think it's bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but I definitely don't think it's bad at all. And he moves really well for a center. D-Mitch size up wall escape, a little behind the back, quick drops, has normal leaner. He's an incredible all-around card. The only question with him is do you think you can shoot consistently with the card? I 
I, for one, am certain that I can, and I like Tyson Chandler a lot, which is why he comes in and adds to our team for only 13,000 MT. Back up point guard. We're going with another one of the budget out of position type guys, and that's going to be Mr. Jingling Joe Ingles. This Joe Ingles card is souped up. 2K made him really, really good for pink down point guard as well. At six foot eight with a six ten wingspan, gives you the good size. Hot spots from four out of five spots. 12 hops. You got bully agent three catch and shoot claim or corner specialist limitless range. Clamper, your quick first step, dimer, anchor, clamps, and interceptor. Really great defensive stats on the card. He's super quick, and he's an elite shooter with great dunking ability. All around, his stats are really nice, and so are his bad. There's a lot of key ones. Cole Anthony base is solid. Rudy Gaffer is really good on very quick. Normal leaner. Uh, Trey size of Paul escape. I'd rather these be reversed. I'd rather him have Trey escape, but that is okay. CP escape isn't bad. Has a little behind the back. Has front clutches. Just another card with really nice all-around animations, a good release, and great stats of badges. Really good budget card coming in about 9,000 MT. We got a 3 and D guy coming off the bench in Bruce Bowen as well. Uh, he's not the best card in the world, but he's definitely going to get the job done as a pure, mostly 3 and D. 6 foot 7, decent speed, great shooter, 96 shot 3, off catch and shoot corner specialist, and quick first step. The defense is really where it shines though. 97 interior, 98 lateral, 98 perimeter, 98 steel. That's about all you got to know with this card. Incredible defensive badges as well. Not the greatest dunker in the world, but that's okay. He does have quick drops, which is good. Uh, the Squindaria Weatherspoon base, Russ Matthews upper on very quick is honestly a really good release. It's the one he's had all year, and I think it's a very, very nice one, as well as normal leaner. Sigs aren't there. Doesn't really matter. He's, I mean, literally 3,000 MT, and he is a great 3 and D card with a really good release and incredible defensive ability. Really, really nice budget card to fill a spot on the squad. At the 3, I feel like I had to force, find, find, I, it took me a little bit of time to find a guy that I liked at the 3, but I think this out of position, Robert Williams, will get the job done pretty well. He does have one kind of flaw in that his release is not amazing, I will say that, but... He's 6'9 with a 7'1 wing spin, so it gives you good size. Hot spots from nearly everywhere outside the 3. He's got an 88 shot 3, 96 speed and excel, half corner specialist, half bully. All defense outside of that, so he's an elite level lockdown defender with really nice size. Can get every badge upgraded, so you can add bailout, break starter, limitless range, limitless takeoff, and those types of things to make him better. Rob Bloom's base, I don't hate it. The upper is kind of... Eh, I wouldn't say he has the best release in the world, but it's definitely not horrific. It's just not great. Uh, but he does have the little behind the back, Steph Escape, Quick Drops, and Normal Leaner. A lot to like about the card, no doubt about that. I just think if his release is a little better, I'd be a little bit higher on him. But he is only 4,000 MT, which is like very, very cheap. So I'm not going to complain about that. Another guy here at the fours, that, 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 that's probably not a card we talk about very much, kind of similar to Rob Williams, is this Danny Manning. But the reason that he's going to play the four for us is because he gives you good size at 6 foot 10, can shoot the ball pretty decently, has good speed, and solid all around defense hop. Anchor, brick wall, clamper, quick first step, post lockdown, rebound chaser, limitless takeoff, bully, masher, posterizer, uh, 90 driving dunk. So, I mean, he's just a pretty solid statistical all around card. Don't love the magic base, but I'm very quick. It's not terrible. Amari upper is fine. Normal leaner. Uh, Sigs are pretty good. John Wall escape, the low behind the back, which is good. Doesn't have the best dunk animations in the world. Honestly, I will say, I think this is probably the worst card in the team. This Danny Manning card, but we needed somebody cheap with some size to fill a spot at the back of power forward position, and Danny Manning is going to do just that for us. And then the backup center position, we get back to our really strong options, and that is Mo Bamba at the five. 12,000 MT for this Mo Bamba card. Super solid all around option. Got decent speed. Good shooter uh very very good dunker really good interior defender has a great wingspan which is huge seven foot ten wingspan really helps him out a lot half post spin rise up catch and shoot corner specialist clamp very quick first step solid all around defensive badges release is solid it's not amazing but it gets the job done normal leaner mj dribble style lamello size of kobe escape not the best half court six but a little behind the back is super nice to have especially on a big who's as lanky as mo and quick drops off one so another really really good budget card at that center position for the last twelve thousand mt and that makes the total for this team 99,000 MT, just under that 100K MT mark, a really, really good budget squad. That's going to be an amazing starter level team for less than 100K, which is a super, super cheap amount of MT to be completely honest. So hopefully you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.